Good evening. I'm Father Charlie Mayer, acting priest in charge of the Grace Episcopal Church in Ossining. Welcome to our service of Compline for this Monday evening. The service is found on page 127 in your Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We continue on the next page with Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. And now on page 131, we read Psalm 134. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We continue now with our gospel reading. This is the 12th chapter of Matthew, beginning with verse 43. When the unclean spirit has gone out of a person, it wanders through waterless regions looking for a resting place, but it finds none. Then it says, I will return to my house from which I came. When it comes, it finds it empty, swept and put in order. Then it goes and brings along seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they enter and live there. And the last state of that person is worse than the first. So will it be also with this evil generation. While he was still speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers were standing outside wanting to speak to him. Someone told him, look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, wanting to speak to you. But to the one who had told him this, Jesus replied, Who is my mother, and who are my brothers? And point to, pointing to his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. This is, of course, one of the more disturbing teachings of Jesus. 
But I think, excuse me, <coughs> I think that as is almost always the case, if not always the case, if we look at the context, excuse me, <coughs> we can find that what Jesus is saying is, is certainly challenging, but is not as, um, as distressing to uh, the, the relationships that we hold dear as we might initially think. The context in which Jesus is teaching here is very much a context in which the end is expected. He's, he's speaking apocalyptically. He's speaking about the current generation being the last generation before the new thing comes. And what he's really wanting to say is, as a follower of Jesus, one has to choose between the status quo and the new thing that is coming. And if choosing mother and brother and sisters means choosing the status quo and not following Jesus, then it's the wrong choice. And the true mothers and brothers and sisters are those who have made the choice to follow. So you see, he's speaking metaphorically. He's, he's asking, where is your heart? Have you truly chosen to follow me? He's not saying your mother is not really your brother, really your mother, your brother is not really your brother. He's not saying anything like that. And he's not saying to stop loving the people who brought you up. It's really nothing like that. But he is saying that those of us going along the way together, following Jesus, are like family. The, the ties that we have, the bonds that we have, are, are that profound. So challenging, yes. Distressing, perhaps less so. But that's Jesus' message for us this evening. Have we chosen to follow him? Have we put following him first? May God give us grace to choose to follow. Amen. And we continue now in the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we continue now in silent prayer. And now we offer our Monday Parish Prayers for Faith, Betty, Karen, Bill, Aileen, Father Pridemore, Alicia, Kathleen, and Jean, for Teresa, Henry, Isaiah, Christine, Roger, Samantha, Dan, Catherine, Anya, Katrina, Tina, and Rick, for Dorothy, Frank, Barbara, Noel, Lydia, Juan, Marty, Jim, Leah, Melanie, Allie, Marco, Nils, Emily, Warren, Charlene, and Suzanne. For our essential workers, Holly, Ray, Alfreda, Jan, Alexis, Peter, Dina, Steve, Graham, Pablo, and Anthony. And for those who have died, especially Amelia Ivy Sage Holdman, Patricia Regan, David Quinn, and Gabriel Caswell. Hear the prayers of your people, O Lord. We lift them up to you, asking that we may truly and fully choose to follow you and to be for one another a community of family members in Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. <laughs>